hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to extend group in odoo and how to inherit the groups in a new group we will see the real task case and in case you missed previous discussion about how to extend group category in odoo please check link is given in the description and if you want to learn more about odoo with different topics you can visit the playlist under the playlist you can see odoo development and here you can see different topic wise playlist available with real task cases apart from this you can see here python related tips and editor related tips also available and if you need any support you can visit the about page under the about page you can send your query to this email address and the source code is also available in the github plus we have some social media pages you make sure you can follow to get the latest notification let's back to our main topic like how to extend group so let's say i'm going to setting users in a user profile so now you can see user type sales administrator technical and extra right all are the groups right so let's say i'm trying to create a new group and i want to extend some existing groups here from here like let's say analytic accounting then after so full accounting features to my group right so that is also possible and with this we can achieve using the implied underscore ids field which is many to many feed in rs good groups model and let's see how it will work so for that like i'm going to in odoo training custom add-ons here this is a school module and I'm going to open the security access data file here. Now you can see, like right now I have four different, uh, sorry, three different groups available here, which I already created last time. And now I'm trying to create a new group, like record ID access student extend account feature so this is my id and here is my like rs good group and here i will give the group name is student counting all right so here like let's say created only the group name right like this and let me add here one more group category like category underscore id and i will be trying to use this category the hidden one and i will close and then after i will try to upgrade this module the school module right uh, here minus u and school name so if you don't know how to configure odoo in pycharm uh, especially the start restart and debug the mode I already explained let's check editor level playlist and once I will start the service it will upgrade the module so I don't need to go to again in the front end side and upgrade manually so let me refresh the page here and if you see here like let's say student accounting is available right so what I want to do is like I want to I want to inherit some other groups to this group like let's say this analytic account let's say if I will take this one it will automatically get the access rights from this analytic account then after analytic accounting tab this box plus I will also use this existing one the school student profile so how you can do right uh, for this group so for that like we have to use here the implied underscore id like field name and here implied underscore id and this is a many to many field so here we can use eval and let me close here this tag and i will use like this mm, i will use like six then after comma and here i will use like this uh, as a stress the shingle code and the group name so let's say so first thing is analytic account so for that like I will go to in accounts module 
here and the menu name is this one this one all right so here all right so you can see this is a group name right so i will copy this id xml id i will paste here and i will make sure to copy this model name because this is also compulsory the model name dot and then after the xml id and now i will try to access analytic accounting tab okay so it's also available in the same file i will try to copy the id paste here and i will add here this name and here i will try to use here like our new group which we already created here like what is the names student school profile all right so this is the one and i will try to copy this one and paste here school dot and the id name here all right and now oh we forgot here we are using six so we override always and i will use the zero so if you don't know what is uh, this is called a special command right if you don't know please check special commands playlist i already explained like there are six types of special commands one two three four five six right and what is the purpose i already explained with the real task cases so let's say here i'm using this one and simple i'm trying to upgrade the module i'm going to front end side and refresh the patch now if i scroll down here now you can see here just observe the analytic account we didn't take right this one analytic accounting text we didn't take this one as well as the student school profile we didn't take this one right now let me take this one the student accounting and according to the rules like from the student profile uh, sorry the student accounting group it will automatically inherit this group this group and this group so and now you can see analytic accounting automatically tick analytic accounting tabs automatically tick here as well as student account school profile group automatically tick so here it means you don't need to rewrite all the code like access rights and access rules you not you, know, you don't need to redefine especially for this accounting module if you want to inherit right the existing group you can use using the implied underscore id and here one more thing is let's say if you want to try to untick this one right let's say you don't want to use this group but still you want to use this one then it is not possible if i will save it you can see it will automatically take why because this student accounting this group already inherit the existing groups right so here there is no chance to untick this one and until unless you have to if you want to exclude this one then you must have to exclude from here like first you have to remove this one right and then re-upgrade the module and now i'm trying to refresh the patch and i'm trying to uncheck here analytic accounting and now you can see it's gone right so like this way you can extend existing group right using implied underscore ids like this way and our next session would be like how to create such type of access groups i mean the combo box how you can create this combo box group 
and if you have any doubt related this session please comment below and see you in next session